The next step in the creation of this contour toolpath is to set up the cut parameters by selecting it. The cut parameters are where cutting conditions such as the amount of material to be left for a finished tool to cut, if climb or conventional milling are to be used, and the type of contour are set. Since this is a 2D contour, the contour type is correct. Next, I'll need to set up the compensation direction. In this case, the tool will travel from the left side of the part to the right side. As you might recall, this is how I selected the geometry. Therefore, I'll need to compensate the center of the cutter to the right side of the selected geometry in order for the tool to be on the correct side of the selected contour. Since this is an introductory course, I'll accept many default settings which we'll explain later in upcoming lessons. For now, the next cut parameter set up is the amount of material that I would like this tool to leave on the walls and the floor of the part. I'll leave 25 thousandths on the walls, but any amount between 5 to 50 thousandths can be considered a reasonable depth of cut for a finished tool. This 25 thou will be the amount of material the finished tool will remove from the surface. After entering 25 thou in this field and pressing enter, notice how the graphic changes to show that material will be left on the part. In this case, the material will be left on the right side of the selected geometry and the part radius will not be cut to the final size until after the finished contour toolpath has been added. If I set this value to a negative amount, Notice how the graphic changes to a red color. This is letting you know that the feature will be cut oversize. I'll switch it back to positive. For this part, I do not want to leave any material on the floor since there is no floor to the contour.